Hi my lovelies. So I have a haul from Michaels. I went the other day because I was looking on hsn.com because Martha Stewart's craft items are sold online and usually they have some reasonable prices for certain things that she sell especially um, glitters and and the acrylic paints they sell it online in, in bulks so when I was looking I know I, what made me look because I received an email from HSN and it showed that they were selling at probably like 20 of her acrylic paint for 30 or 40 something dollars and I know in Michaels her acrylic paint is almost three dollars so I was like before I buy it let me go to Michaels and and check to see how much they have to paint and see what's going on there so when I went to my surprise they had Martha Stewart um, acrylic paint on sale for 99 cents. Well, to me, that's a bargain because everybody knows Martha Stewart acrylic paints are expensive. So to find them on sale for 99 cents, that's pretty good. And I heard a, a lot of great things about her acrylic paints. So once again, I went crazy because not all of them were on sale. There were certain colors. It's probably the ones they were clearing out. So I bought a few of them. I think there was only, I think this one and maybe another one. I um, I purchased, I paid $1.99. Still not a bad deal. I think the ones that are more expensive, I don't know, I think these are $1.99 and her glitter ones are almost $3. The satin ones are like $1.99. So I only paid full price for two of them, but everything else with the acrylic paint, I got them for a dollar. So let's get started with this one. This one is a light purple and she named this one Hailstorm. Like I said, it's a light purple, pretty color. Then this is like um, a baby pink. And this one is called Peppermint Bark. Basically, uh, it's in a satin. The other one's a satin too. I really like um, how these acrylic look. That's why I bought them another satin color and this one is called piglet and <laughs> it does look like piglet this is lighter than this one this is a light pink real pretty then I picked up another blue oops sorry this one is called sea lavender it looks like a baby blue And this yellow one is called cantaloupe. Basically almost all of them are satin. Then this green one, satin again. And this one is called green curry. I don't know, I thought curry was yellow, but hey, if they have it in green. <laughs> it's another pretty color. Uh, then we have um, Mardi Gras beads and this is a pretty color and look the top came off luckily it was sealed that's the good thing about hers that they they're sealed would have splattered all over the place it's like a, a purple pink color it's real pretty then another one satin and this one is called pink whatever it's cute it don't even look like a pink it look more like a probably a skin tone white light white I could say it's not pure and then I got this pink one and it's called Easter egg very pink very very pretty pink 
Then I got this hot pink. And this one is called whatever its name. This is a hot pink one. And like I said, if you see my videos, me and names don't get along. Um, this is a red one. And this one is Japanese maple. Very pretty. So basically all of these I got for 99 cents except two of them. And this one, it looks like the this other one, but it's not. This one is more... I think this one is more darker, the Japanese one. And this one is more, a little lighter than that one. And this one is uh, something berry, goji berry. <laughs> the pretty color. And then I got a, a darker yellow. This is darker than the other one. And this is rubber duck. And it's true to its name. Is that yellow? And I got sea lavender. Very pretty blue. And yes, I did buy two of the same. Oh my gosh. I always do that. I don't know why. Like, I don't pay attention. Maybe not. <laughs> And then this one and this is like uh it look like a tangerine color same thing satin and then this one Pacific iris I like this purple one it's a nice dark purple and I think one more and then this satin one, and this one is called Surf. And it's a little darker than this one, the Sea Lavender. So, very pretty. Then I found um, Folk Art, because I know they, they're kind of expensive too. And this one is called Perfect Purple. And it was on clearance for 99 cents. This is pretty good. Look, uh, $2.29 I think they originally cost. So they're like up there with Martha Stewart. Then I found these. Um, what is it? Flocking powder. These were for 99 cents. They were on clearance. And this one is banana. The only thing you got to be careful with this is that, don't mind my messed up fingers. The only thing about this is that you have to mix it real good with the acrylic when you're doing mixes. Other than that, I like working with it. Then I have cherry. Another flocking powder. And I have emerald. This is a pretty color. I like it. I have um, party pink, very pretty. All the colors I picked. Oh, look, I found more acrylic paint. This one is artichoke, and it does look like it. And I can't stand that vegetable; it's nasty. Ugh, I don't eat it. So then I have purple martini whatever the name is oh this is the pearl ones these I think I paid $1.99 I'm not sure for well, the full price but I still had a coupon for 20% off on any on your total so this is a pearl color it looks pretty you see the pearls then I have the satin one and this one is called pink flamingo Another pretty color. I, I'm starting to like the acrylic paints more than the brushes. Because with the with the little art brushes, 
I mean, they're, they're nice to work with, but they don't give you as much color as the acrylic paints. This one is in mint. So it's a pretty color. And these you could use the fine brushes. And this is the last one I think that I have. It's a pretty um, purple color. Then I found another couple of recollections. Um, this is fine glitter, same thing on clearance for 99 cents. This one is bronze. Very pretty. This one is extra fine glitter and it's um, taffy. Very pretty. The next one is walnut. This one is flock and powder. Pretty brown. Then you have the extra fine glitter and it's called Blaze. All these are recollection. Very pretty. I like this one. Uh, flocking powder. Ebony. First time I ever seen a black flocking powder. So I had to pick it up. And champagne. This is a real pretty one. I like this. Very pretty color. And these are the tinsel glitter in browns. Bronze. Duh. Very pretty. And the last one is water. Extra fine glitter. This is so pretty. How it glitters. Then I found a couple of rhinestones. They were for $1.49. They're on clearance. These are pretty. They're flowers, um, big stones, and little stones. Well, the big ones I don't think you could use for the nail, but you probably could use it for decoration or something. If you want to decorate a cup or or whatever you want to do with it. $149 for that one. So I picked up another one. Same color. $149. And this one have flowers, ovals, teardrops, diamonds, pretty. It's um, K and C Company. Oh, K and Company. That's the name of the brand. Very pretty. And it's 35 pieces in each one. Then I found this one. It's very pretty. I like these. These you could take them apart anyway and use them as individuals. Like I said, the big ones you could use as a de decoration. And then the smaller ones you could use them on nails. Then I found this one. This one is pretty. Flowers. Same thing. Diamonds. Teardrops. All of them on clearance for $149. Then I bought another one. The same one. This one is 57 pieces. And then I found this one for a dollar. It comes with a little bottle of Flocking powder, fine glitter, tinsels, and flowers. That is so cute. And this is the only color that they had on sale on clearance for a dollar. All the other ones were regular price. It's called a Sparkle Pack. Cute small bottles, but for the price, they're pretty good. Then I found this one, Fine Crackle Effects from Martha Stewart. Like I said, I had a 20% off coupon. This one, I think, originally is $5.99 and then 20% off. Then I bought this. They're candles. Ashland. I don't like them. I had two other ones. Watermelon. It did not smell like nothing. So, don't waste your time buying these. They were a dollar. So, I didn't like them. They didn't smell up the house like some of the, some other brands do. So, don't waste your time. Then I found finally glow in the dark glitter. I was so excited, but then so upset because this gosh darn thing costs almost thirteen dollars 
for three ounces of glitter, um, glow in the dark glitter. That's crazy. Anyway, I used, you know, you can find the coupons, like I said, and I've had a 40% off on one item, so they let me use it. So I got this off, I got this for 40% off. So that would have came out to like six something. So it's still not bad if you look at it. So that's all I have for you, my darlings. Any questions, reviews, comments? Leave them below. Like I would say, you want to re want me to review something or you have a question on anything, let me know. Have a nice day. Thank you for watching. Bye.